Hi everybody, how are you getting on? It's John McGee, the Kindness Coach. And how are you all getting on with your Be Kind at Home? And tell you what, I'm just, I'm just so happy with the feedback I've been getting from the Be Kind at Home. And do you know what? I just want to thank you all. I want to start by saying thank you for subscribing to my channel, helping me grow. I started this a few few weeks ago and uh, I was only at 100 and odd followers. I think I'm at nearly 300 followers. So, not, you, know, it's, you know, every little helps. You know, we're not looking for perfection. We're looking for progress. So how did you get on yesterday with your kindness tip? And how are you getting on with your kindness tips? Um, I thought we'd jump back into some kindness tips because the theme this week is paying forward our kindness tips. Now I came up with a good one, where is it? Oh, it's on page 71 of Kindness Matters. And I think this is a really important one with what's been going on since you know everybody's had to self-isolate. Um, I've lost it. Where is it now? Oh, please forgive me. Oh, where is it? Ah, here we go. The kindness tip today. Sorry, I got a little. I got a bit distracted there. There were just so many on this. These kindness tips. Right today, your kindness tip is this. I would like you to call a friend and ask them if they need a help with anything. So that's your kindness tip today. I'd like you to call a friend and ask them if they need a hand with anything. Now, let's look at the kindness. Let's really delve into the kindness. So as we all know, with everybody being self-isolated and being at home, there's still nothing wrong with us using technology to let other people know that we're thinking about them or that we care about them. So this could be a friend, it could be a family member, it could be anybody. Now, the two forms of communication I want you to start with is calling them. Because a phone call is nice, isn't it? Just phoning someone up and just saying, um, you know, how are you getting on? You know, you know, how's the family? What are you doing today? I'm staying at home like everybody else. <laughs> just letting them know that you are thinking about them. And you can do that exactly the same on a text message, on a DM, or an email, whatever form of communication. For me, I feel, this is just me personally, I feel if somebody phoned me out of the blue, which it does happen, like my lovely friend Debbie Wright, she phoned me last night, who works at Avondale Primary School in Dawn. She's such a beautiful, kind human being. And she was just asking me, how am I getting on? How's things going with the YouTube channel, the Google Classrooms, the kindness tips, the be kind at home? And I was like, oh, isn't that really nice? She was actually thinking about me. And I went so wide, you know, like, little warm and fuzzy inside. And it is, it's nice, isn't it? Do you know when you know that somebody's just thinking about you? It's, it's lovely, isn't it? Or, you know, when you receive an unexpected act of kindness. I mean, think about that for a minute. When you receive an unexpected act of kindness, how does that make you feel? I know it makes me feel. It makes me feel absolutely amazing. And as human beings, that's what makes us tick is our feelings. When we feel good, life's a lot better, isn't it? It's like we get better results in life when we feel good. And that's why kindness matters. Because it not only makes you feel good, it makes other people feel good too. Now what I want to do is I want to break down the, the kindness tip. And the key ingredient to this kindness tip is the word thought. The word thought. Now there is an old saying that it's not, what is it, what, what's the thought? Uh, it's not the thought, what's it called? It's not the gift, it's the thought that counts. So when somebody buys you a gift, it's not so much the gift, it's more the thought that someone is thinking about you. So I've, I've had this happen to me so many times where if someone's got me a card or they've just got me a little gift, I like the gift, but for me, what, what touches my heart more is it's the thought. And that's the key thing. With your kindness tip, when you phone somebody today, or you send them a message, whether it's via a DM, an email, or whatever form of communication, 
to ask them if they need a hand with anything or if they'd like a little talk. It's that thought, your thought, that's going to that's going to count. And believe you me, that is going to have a massive positive impact on the receiver, on the person that receives your act of kindness. Until tomorrow, everybody. Thank you for your kindness.